Hello, welcome. Take a moment, try this problem out, and then press play when you're ready to solve it on your own. Okay, so they want to know, uh, they say a recursive formula for the sequence 18, 9, 4.5 is which of the following? So in a recursive sequence, the idea is that you know the first step, and then you would define each step after that based on the step before it, or two steps before it. In other words, you build the next step based on what you have before. That's a recursive process. So I notice right here, 18 divided by 2 is 9. So I'm thinking if I, have, if I have 18 and divide it by 2, I get 9. And then if I have 9 and I divide that by 2, I get 4.5, and then so on and so forth. All right, that's recursive. Explicit would be to say, OK, well, what is the fourth step? And recursive would say, OK, well, I know the first, 18, next was 9. Next one's four and a half. Divide that by two. What is that? 22.5. So I'm thinking 45 divided by two is 22.5. So this is 2.25, right? So you'd find the first step and then go, go, go. That's recursive. But explicit would say, is there some kind of pattern here so I can jump ahead and just jump right to the fourth step and figure it out instead of going through each step, which is clearly useful, let's say, if I want to know the hundredth step, right? What's the hundredth step here? Recursive would actually mean you'd have to go through all the steps. Explicit would just jump right to it and find the hundredth step. Now, recursive patterns are sometimes essential. In other words, sometimes you can't find an explicit formula. And, and also, recursive patterns have their own beauty to them. But here, the uh, answer is, let's start with there. Let's, let's start with the answer is 1. It's recursive. It says that the first step, g sub 1, that's my first step, is 18. OK, that makes sense. Then any step after that is half of g sub n minus 1. And that just means if g sub n is the step you're on, and this is, for example, this is g100, this is g sub 4, g sub 3, g sub 2, g sub 1, any step you're on is called g sub n, right? So. I can go forever here, and this is, there's some step, and we call this g sub n. Well, if g sub 4 is a step, g sub 4 minus 1 is 3. It's the step before g sub 4. In other words, if n is the step you're on, n minus 1, this is the step before it. So this is a fancy way of saying g sub n, the step you're on, equals 1 half of the step before it. Now, if we look at choice 2, right, this is an explicit formula. And what it does is it says, OK, if you want to know the hundredth step, just plug this in. Take 18 and multiply it by a half n minus 1 times. So the number that would go here is going to be 18 times 1 half to the 99th power. And that makes sense because we're halving 18 99 times. In other words, when on this step right here, we only halved 18 one time. On the second step, we took 18 and cut it in half once. On the third step, we cut it in half twice. So we didn't cut it on the third step three times. This is 18 times 1 half to the second power. We cut it in half two times. Here is 18 times 1 half to the first. Here, this was, as you see the pattern, it's the fourth step. With 18, we cut it in half three times. In other words, the, the amount of times we're halving it is always one less than the step number on we are on. So for any arbitrary step, it would be 18 times 1 half for the nth step to the n minus 1 times, right? This number is always 1 less than the step number that you're on. OK, I might have rambled a little bit there beyond the answer to the problem, but I want you to realize the difference between a recursive and explicit formula so that you can answer these types of questions. All right, hope this helped.